it's all, it's all we got. Yo, was that a scream, bro? You hear that? A hundred percent, that was a scream. Whoa, what the f is that? What, 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 what? So, what'd you see? It was like a person just standing there, like this. What the f I'm gonna do a little zoom in here. Eyes. Eyes. Oh, this lad, that's like tall. It's very tall. Tonight, we're staying overnight in a very, very haunted forest known as the Skinwalker Forest. We're gonna be staying in this tent right here, and... You heard that, right? Yeah, I heard that. The Skinwalker, a malevolent spirit, a shapeshifter. There's a shapeshifter. But look straight ahead right there. What? Right there. What the is that? Does that not look like something is just standing there staring at us? Right? Yeah. Yo, what the f what? what? Ah! Whoa! Go, 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 go! Run! What the f Oh, no, no, no! <sighs> Alright. You, you ready, Ben? Oh, I'm ready. Alrighty, well, guys. Tonight, we're staying overnight in a very, very haunted forest known as the Skinwalker Forest. We're gonna be staying in this tent right here, and... You heard that, right? Yeah, I heard that. That sounded like... Like a shriek. You don't think... It was I don't... like a person. I don't know. Kind of what? That's either one, a coyote, or two, someone screaming. Or like three. Was that your stomach or my stomach? It wasn't my stomach, but it sounded like a distance, gurgle. Bro. I know. It just sounded like a stomach <laughs> gurgle thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, shit, guys. All right. Well, uh, yeah, we're in this place. We're, gonna, we're calling it Skinwalker Forest because of the history of this place. We're in the valleys of Colorado right now. We traveled pretty far because we said in the last camping video, uh, one place that you guys recommend, we will go visit. Now, this isn't like a named place if you will this is actually just state lands but someone sent us a story of something that happened here recently mm -hmm. this place is so freaky yeah, i know oh. <sighs> composure um yeah, this place is pretty horrifying, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be staying here overnight. We got tons of equipment, we got tons of everything, and uh, hopefully, you know, all goes well. But yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm gonna fire up the spear box right now just because things are going pretty hectic right now. So, you know, if we get any sort of answers to start the night, that'd be great. So mm -hmm. this place is haunted. It was actually said... That's a fact. fact. That's a rock fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was quick. But yeah, guys, uh, let's get into this. My name is Yasko. This is Ben. Howdy. And uh, this is our new series where we're basically camping in some of the most haunted areas around the world. Even. Yeah. Um, this is our fourth video doing this. And uh, we're out here in Colorado. And uh, <laughs> we're like in the mountains, but not the mountains. Kind of like in the valley. Yeah, like in the valley of a mountain. The loft. There's a loft? I hope so. Be nice. Better than what we have. Definitely. I mean, like, I like this, but... I mean, it's all right. It's okay. I mean, the loft sounds nice. We dig out the snow with our bare hands. Yeah. Just, just so we could place this down on a flat area. It's horrifying. But, um, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoy. We're basically going to travel anywhere. So if you guys have any recommendations of where you want us to stay overnight, leave a comment down in the comment section below. And the most liked comment is the one we will go to next. We picked this one because of the story that was attached to it. Now, this place isn't like notoriously called Skinwalker Forest, but the locals in the area and the story that was- Schlissen. Schlissen? Schlissen. Oh, I thought I said Schlissen. Oh. Okay, hold on, Ben. So the spear box just said Schlissen. So yeah, we're gonna get into this, but yeah, if you want us to go anywhere, comment. This place, we were at the gas station, the one that was closed, the only one that's like around this area. Right. And we asked the people that were there, we're like, hey. Please leave here. Uh, we already set up camp. Yeah, bro, this took forever. This took forever. I'm <laughs> sorry, we're not leaving. 
<laughs> yeah, we were talking to people at the gas station. They were like, don't even, we don't want to talk about skinwalkers here. They were like, please, please don't bring that energy here. They're like, they, that like attracts them. And I was like, oh, so you guys oh, believe wow. in them? They were like, you know, get your stuff and leave basically. Mm -hmm. um, the initial story that was sent to us, I will read it later. It's pretty long. I'll, I'll shorten it a little bit, but it, it is wild. Mm. Now, I don't know if you know much about skinwalkers. I didn't. I only know from that one video game. What was it called? The PlayStation one? I'm not even sure, bro. Ah. Uh. But you guys can tell it's something like until dawn. Is it until dawn? I think. But this place is known for stuff like that. It's known for Wendigos. It's known oh, for like. Wendigos, but yeah. apart from that, this place is also notoriously very, very haunted. Now, over the past hundred years, a lot has happened here. Um, people have sought out and done like satanic rituals up here. People have been unfortunately murdered up here. I mean, like. People have done bad things here because they think it's untraceable. They, they bring stuff here up in the mountains and the valleys, and they, you know, they think their hands are wiped clean. There's a group of us. Oh, hell no. There's a group of us. Oh. Uh -huh. So we got, shh, listen, please leave here, and then there's a group of us. So the sound we heard was from this direction, I think. There's like a trail that heads that way. Yeah. Well, we've been walking because we've been trying to find like a flat line for a while, but um, let's continue, I guess. Let's try to figure out what's going on here. <clears throat> now, we're not here specifically looking for skinwalkers. You know? No, no. We're here basically I doing our thing. I wouldn't do with one if I saw one. I, I, you know what, you, you, I do. what do you do? Hug it? I would hug it. That's what I was about to say. Actually, it's weird that you said that. I was like, I was giving a hug. I think, I don't but know. I feel from, bad. From what it. I hear, they're like nine foot tall, horrifying creatures, right? They like rip your skin off. And yeah, they'll like eat it. Eat it. In front of you, you know, kind of thing. So... I don't want to experience that, God forbid, right? I don't yeah. know what type of shit like that exists out here, but like, you know, do you believe in Bigfoot, Ben? I want to hear your opinion. Okay, so like... Isn't it weird that like all footage found is like, is like 144p? Yeah, and we have know? like these cameras that can zoom across I cities now. And... I hope you're enjoying the conversation. Hope... Are you a spirit? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to say it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, Bigfoot, like... I feel like people probably have seen things that are like bigger animals, like a bear standing up, and they're like, oh shit, that's Bigfoot. Yeah. I'm gonna tell mama. <laughs> <laughs> they go tell mama and like, <laughs> yeah. Know. No, I hear you, bro. That's a, how about, let's have like a little discussion in the comment section. I wanna hear from you guys. Do you guys believe in Bigfoot? Do you guys believe in skinwalkers? Do you guys believe in stuff like that? We wanna know because we're obviously out here trying new things to see if we could experience yeah. some of the stuff. We're out here camping. We traveled damn near across the country just to do this video mm -hmm. so you know i'm not saying i hope we find a skinwalker but so, like that's another thing too like the wendigos i think it is right yeah i think the whole story behind that is like i don't know what is that what is a wendigo i think it's like a person so like they would find people right yeah who had like clearly eaten other people like cannibals right but it wasn't really that that happened what we think now is like the person was trapped in the cold and you know what happens when you're trapped in the cold with other people you start starving and then you eat each other yeah that's what the story i think of wendigo comes from is they didn't know how to explain it back in the day so you just see, you find like a bunch of people who ate each other what do you think they're gonna eat me next exactly <laughs> my head your head what happened to your head wait wait right when you were talking about eating Oh. What's this, bro? Oh, shit. Oh, look, it's like a river. Oh. Frozen over. Careful. Yeah, for sure. It doesn't look too frozen. Bro, look at those footsteps right there. I like yeah. a... Hmm. Interesting. Is anybody out here with us? <clears throat> Can you make yourself known? Can you give me a sign that you're... What? What was that? Well, thank you. But what the hell was that? Whoa, bro. Yeah, yeah. You 100% heard yeah, that. Yeah, I did. Bro, we are so deep in this forest too. Um, yeah, we are. We, oh, we should have shown how far. I don't think we took the camera though. It was like a what, like a 
30 minute walk oh bro 30 minute walk yeah just to get to this site right here yeah well we picked it because it was pretty close to a like lakeish area it yeah. looks like it's frozen over but <clears throat> kind of seems like a good spot uh, okay so we're getting a couple of weird things Shh, listen please leave there's a group of us i'm listening to you in my head <clears throat> and apart from some of the sounds you just heard it doesn't look like there's anywhere else to go down here again unless we can go across down here i don't know And there's more stuff that way, I, but the only that, and then that's like the way we came from, really. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah, Jazz, be careful. Jeez. <laughs> this thing is so incredibly accurate. It's horrifying. It's, scary. it's genuinely scary. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sounds good. But we got a couple of things. Uh, so we went camping. Uh, so I think it was two videos ago. We were camping, and there was footsteps around us. You know, I'll pull it on screen right here for you guys. Scottish. Ben? What? Look on that log right Holy there. Holy. Those are feet prints. Look at that. What? No. Who's, who the f is walking on on this? So while we were sleeping, that was going on, and then when we got out of the tent, there was footsteps, mm -hmm. like footprints. I mean, sorry, like bare foot footprints. Yeah, not like, not like shoe prints or boot prints. Yeah, it, was it looked like, like there was four toes, just like in the snow, and it looked like it was just one foot over and over again. So we're thinking it's a four-toed <laughs> sound. <laughs> you know, well, whatever it is, we bought trail cams, and we're gonna set them up around the tent. And while we're sleeping, if anything happens outside the tent, mm -hmm. we got it. Any four-toed bees coming? <laughs> yeah. We're on them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're cute. I don't know. Maybe they're my tight. Oh. Oh, there's a tent right there. So. Howdy tent. All right. Well, um, we're going to be here all night. So we're going to try all types of things. Um, if you guys ever have any questions that you want to... Hello? Is there something moving over there? It could be an animal. Yeah, if it is, we shouldn't run towards it. Yeah, maybe you're right. But, well, it's, it's not bear season right now, so I'm not too worried about that. But. Yo, they're hibernating right now. I know that. I paid attention in school. For sure. I'm still wondering what that, like, that, like, weird bassy, like, wah, 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 yeah, I don't sound know. was earlier. We were hearing growls at one point. We were hearing like all sorts of shit. Affair. Affair. Affair or an, an affair? I'm assuming affair, like a sexual affair. Yeah, sexual. Oh. Ow! Ow! Uh. Ha! I'm okay. Uh. We got a first aid kit. Protect. Oh, bro. Bro, they just said protect. That didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the warning. <laughs> I'll protect my ankles better. Um, it didn't say be careful earlier, right? Hey, Ben. I'm not trying to freak you out or anything, but look straight ahead right there. What? Right there. What the fuck is that? Does that not look like something is just standing there staring at us? Right? Yeah. Hello? That'd be across the, the river. Who is that? Or what is that? It's gone. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. Well, that happened. Yeah. Jazz, what are you doing? Um, so, you know how we saw that, like, face over there? What I'm thinking is, maybe we could fire up like a SLS. It says that something's laying down right there. It says something's literally laying down right there. But we saw something in the distance over there. But it literally is like fixated on something laying down right there. Uh, see, if you, see if it's like a glitch or if you get closer if it's still... 
Is it still doing that? Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Um, let me see, I'll check the heat sensor, see if there's any heat there. There's something over here. So essentially, you know how this works. It'll detect heat. Yeah. So we're just using this for the time being. There's like little patches of here and there. We saw the thing over there, so I'm maybe thinking like Hey Ben. Oh yeah, it's from like right in front of you. Yeah. Is that? It's affecting something yellow like right here. What's that? What is that? Oh, can I see that? The camera's just Yeah. That's like crazy. Interesting. Well, it looks like someone came through here. But... What the hell am I looking at? It looks like a... Yeah, dude. Yeah, it looks like a dude has like arms right here. Yeah. And then the legs? It almost looks like a like a spider legs. <laughs> yeah. There's the head right there. Um I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I mean interesting start I'm thinking maybe does this mean something like happened here, potentially? I mean it definitely looks like it's like something had to have carved that into the snow, right? No, someone definitely did that. There's no shot. But... Then my question is like, why? Yeah, I don't know what we're looking at right now, bro. Very interesting. It's like a dude that's just like... <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> One thing is like, what if it's something to do with like down there? Here, hold this for a sec. Be. I'm gonna just check over quick. Bro, just... I'll be very Kick... Good. Kick that tree and just ride it down like a... Like, like a, a skateboard. Little, yeah. Right. A little snowboard. Just hop on it, dude. <laughs> oh. Jazz? Kaobunga, bro. <laughs> Jazz! Okay, okay, I was kidding, I was kidding, I was kidding. Okay, grab my hand. Grab my hand. Ready? Bro, this. I got you. Look at, look at something, though. I'm good, I'm good. Bro, this tree. Huh. The tree's about to, like, snap in half. Oh, that's not good. You, de you sure did Kaobunga that? Uh, almost. Sorry, tree. That's a dead tree, anyways, but. Yeah. Um. Now oh, it's early, Dad. My, my, like. What? No way. Yeah. Oh, shit. Whoa. What was that? What was that? Did you see that? Yeah. Okay, what? Question. What, what question? What question do you have? Bro, it literally looked like something like peeked at us and ducked down. Yeah. What is that? Who is that? Fuck. What's your question? How about my that? question is what is that? Huh? Did you just hear that? What was it? What'd you hear? It sounded like, like whispering, but loud whispering. I didn't hear a thing. I swear, are you good? No, I definitely heard something. Something's on the second, like across the river. I feel like I sense something. Hardcore. You think we can cross it? Branch. Just broke. I heard that. No, we could definitely cross it. I don't know if that ice will hold us. Maybe we could jump over there. D that might be pushing our luck, though, bro. I know. Who's we over there? We get wet. We're going to have trouble getting warm tonight. We're fine. Maybe 
go warm up a little bit then. Um, I'll let you... It asked... It said question and then just disappeared on us. Unless, unless the question was what you heard in whispers. It could have been. Well, speak Painful. louder. Painful. Um... Maybe they're saying the conversation with us is painful because we're not listening to <laughs> Maybe. First time doing our own thing. No, dude, we're trying. We're, we're trying. All right, well, um, thank you for communicating with us. We'll be out here all night. I just want to know what the hell that was across the damn pond right there. Dude, if you guys see anything, please let us know in the comment section. So, uh, what are you doing? Not sure, bro. We're not getting any more, like, answers. You know, after this question said painful and kind of just disappeared on us. Yeah. So maybe, um, we'll have better luck later in the night. Maybe. Um, still nothing, bro. We're still rolling on this thing right here. Yeah, the other night we were getting answer after answer after answer, and now it's like very stagnant. So, yeah. um, we're gonna go warm up and then we'll be back out here in a little bit. So, um, yeah, mate, we definitely have to get across that pond over there for sure. So, thank you for communicating with us again, and uh, thank we'll you. See you soon. Ghost ears when you die. Oh. You saw that, right? Yeah. <sighs> okay. I'm trying not to, like, I'm tearing up right now. You hear that? Animal sounds. Um, uh oh, you heard that? You grabbed the flashlight. Problem is, okay, guys. So we're back on the main channel right now. Um, small problem. There. Plane. I'm starting to think it's not. It's. It's not safe for us. Huh? Without the lights, there's animals around us. We're like way less safe right now. The camera light died. On a hunt, like almost a hundred percent, it died. We bring it back to the tent we so charge we can charge it on the generator. The generator won't work. It, it turns on, it, it won't work. So now we can't charge that. We can't use our space heater. <laughs> we brought a space heater so we could stay warm. Um, yeah, we tried that. We're doomed. We are literally doomed. I'm using my flashlight right now to just illuminate us, but once that dies, we're screwed. Yeah. The thing is, we're 30 minutes of walking distance into this trail where we're at. If we have to walk out with no lights... That's what we're trying to figure We're trying to figure out right now, like, if we do bail tonight, when do we bail? That, that's the thing. Like, like so, at what point? Because we don't want to, like, wait too long and get f***ed. The only thing is, is, like, if we fall asleep in the tent, we we're going to have to, like, not get out because we can't use yeah. light at that point, right? Now, the, the problem right here is the story of this place. We just told the full story on the vlog channel, the second channel. If you want to hear the full thing, it's, like, 12 to 15 minutes long. Really, really long story. It's horrifying. I will dumb it down a little bit for you guys, but I'm just a little freaked out right now. That was a buck. Yeah. There is a buck right there. Yeah. Um, which isn't like out of the ordinary. No. It, th this area is known to have deers and bucks and whatnot. It says I, I like, like to, to come, come here. here. <sighs> okay. Um, we looked over here and it, it looked like red eyes. Almost. Yeah. It almost looked like red eyes, like blink, like looking. Like they at were us. glowing. It might have been the reflection from, from the, the light. light. Yeah. But like that's all you could see was fucking eyes. And then it just like moved away. Um, you could clear as day tell it was a. Oh. But you could see the antlers and everything. You could hear it. You could hear like the the, the nose thing. Yeah. Did, it, the it, like the sniffling thing. And that's what I'm thinking. We saw earlier. Remember when I said? Yeah. I, something was looking at us. I think it was the buck. Yeah. Now the only question, like, I don't want to scare you too much, but I'm already scared. 
I'm good. You scared the fuck out of me at this point. Skinwalkers like to take forms of animals. And it's known that they take forms of deer. Deer Bucks. and Bucks. goats. So, once again, it's coming from across the bank, the riverbank. Now, this might or might not freak you out. Nicholas. Nicholas. Nicholas likes to come here. Okay. He blames someone, and he's 20. See, we're, we're in a, between a rock and a soft place right now, because we are... We're literally dealing with not only the paranormal, but we're dealing with potentially something extremely out of the normal. <laughs> yeah, like, this isn't... Par this is, like, when you turn on, like, Wacky Wasteland and Fallout, and you walk <laughs> out and you see, like, a fucking... Like, <laughs> bro... Oh, God. So, guys, can I see my phone for a yeah. sec? Uh, I can protect you. <laughs> I can protect you. I can protect you. From what? Yeah. Now, the thing is, what if this is a good spirit trying to protect us from something that's out here? Maybe they like us. They just like, these guys are cool. They're chill. Yeah. Let's help them out. Let's give it a go. Um, so, I'm going to read you guys the story. I'm going to numb it down a little bit. Like I said, if you want to hear the full thing, go to the second channel. The link's in the description. But I'm going to go ahead and start reading this. It's, once I read it fully, me and Ben became even more freaked out. So reading it again? For specific reasons, location-wise. Yeah. So get ready for this. It starts off by saying, I won't reveal who I am or much about where I live. And to be honest, it's been a few months since this happened. But I just came to terms with it now, and I have to warn people about what's out there. What they knew, what we don't. Warning, this is a very long read. It's very disturbing, but I can't hold back. Here's my story. So... This guy likes to go hiking with his friends, and there's not much to do. They're from a small mountain town in Colorado. That's where we're at right now. And he said it was fun at first, but by the end of the summer, there, there was just one that they hadn't tried, which is this one. Yep. And there's a reason for that. The trail goes right through a portion of the forest that the Ute people considered sacred. I'll admit, I have hang-ups when it comes to, you know, things that are considered sacred. You don't wear hats in a church. You don't let the American flag touch the ground. You don't trudge over somebody's sacred land for the fun of it. He says right here, still my friend. We'll, c we'll call him Mark for this story. Um, I'm going to tell you guys right now. Mark is dead. Yeah, Mark didn't make it. Mark didn't make it. And the story explains everything. So, essentially... Um, the fuck was that? That was right behind the tent. Um, Hold on. I literally am using this flashlight. Can you just... Hello? Nothing, right? Hold on. Sorry, guys. This is all we have for light right now. There's nothing, bro. Maybe it's like something fell off a tree or something. Maybe, maybe. That's the only logical thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, well... Oh my god, sure, man. Files, <laughs> This place is horrifying. It is. So, um, essentially Mark ended up convincing uh, the person who wrote the story to go. And um, the entire time that they were going there, Mark was telling about how this is the coolest trail he'd ever been on. And he's only been there once. Your minor, Mark died. I'm going to skip a lot of the backstory and just get into the story. So oh, essentially, geez. they make it to the trail. And it was the furthest one that was away from town and it wasn't near a paved road so there was a lot of walking just to get there which is our experience our experience uh no tourists knew about it and a lot of locals and even some Ute didn't know about it but if you followed a game trail through a bunch of trees it would widen out and lead its way through some mountainous uh terrains and you know whatnot yeah yeah and in this particular place you couldn't hear much you couldn't hear birds chirping or any wildlife whatsoever other than the uh, occasion, but for the most part, it was complete and utter silence. Now, Ben, don't move for just a second right now. Check. Complete and that. utter silence. We're good. <laughs> it's it's pretty quiet. Clear. Um, eventually, eventually, what happened was the person who wrote the story had to use the restroom. He went to the restroom and he saw something cool in front of him. It was like a makeshift bridge that crossed like this ravine or like this, um, like riverbank. Eventually, the person who wrote the story went through. He went past the, the, he went step by step and he got across the riverbank. 
and in front of him was a perfect circle surrounded by small, perfectly arranged rocks. It was nothing but smooth dirt. It was strange, not in the least because the shape of the rocks were absolutely perfect, they were submerged in the soil and fit together like bricks. Every single one of them was white, and they all had some old uh, symbols carved onto them. You couldn't even tell what they were because it's been so old, some of them were even like being lost over the years. Now, what was disturbing was that the circle wasn't perfect. On one edge, just one, the group of rocks had been kicked up, so essentially, whatever circle was there for whatever reason, sacred reason, was broken up. So it was no longer yeah. sacredly closed, if you will, right. right? Now, after this happens, um, they go back to Mark, and Mark is making some type of bathroom joke, because that's just how Mark is. And they keep on going further and further. And eventually what happens is they see a buck. So after they saw the buck, um, it wouldn't budge. It would like stare at them and wouldn't really move. So it was a three hour walk back to the car. And throughout the entire walk back, they would hear rustling along the path there. And each time they would see this buck. Now, after a while, Mark got annoyed of it. And Mark was like, I'm going to go scare it off. And yeah. Mark just ran towards it. And the person who wrote the article said, you know what, like I waited for a while because I thought Mark would be right back. But a minute passed, then the minute became two, two minutes became five, and Mark wouldn't respond. He went towards the path that Mark went, and eventually he came across a bunch of blood, which led to flesh, which led to clothing, which then led to... Parts of Mark. Parts of Mark, and then what he saw was the buck in the distance, then stand up and essentially this scarred him he ran and ran and ran for his life he made it back even though he made it back to where his car was once he turned around it was still there he made it out but it was almost as if like whatever was there couldn't leave and he said the thing that scarred him most of all of this obviously was what happened to his friend but apart from that too the fact that he couldn't get out of his mind. What happened must have been from that circle, the sacred circle, the sa it was tainted. Right, yeah. You know, so maybe that's what caused this, right? Now, here's the thing. We're in a part of the internet where you will either believe something or you don't, right? Now, you either believe in ghosts or you don't. You either believe in this or you don't. If we're out here because we don't know. We yeah. don't know. We, like, we've never experienced anything like this. This is our first time ever looking for something like this so yeah we could just come across nothing we don't know regardless of the fact we're hunting we're doing ghost hunting anyways so yeah maybe some yeti hunting maybe <laughs> maybe a whole lot of you know everything but the, the, the <laughs> creepy thing is when we had the spirit box just um up the whole time it said nicholas and then it says i want to protect you so it's almost like the spirits wanted us to wanted to protect us from something here yeah now i'm just getting freaked out a little bit because of earlier and now the whole buck thing because once uh, let's just i just want to sit back and say you know what animals are common here animals yeah or something is hitting the tent it sounds like that hold on i got it where's my phone Nothing, bro. Nothing. Nothing at all. So, guys, you have to understand right now, this is horrifying. We don't have lights for the remainder of the night apart from our flashlight. So, things are going to get a little tricky out here. We may have to use night vision for a while, um, and that's that's okay. That's what it's there for, to see in the night. It is. But it only goes so far, though. It only goes so far, and the only thing I'm worried of right now is... If that dies, then what? Then cell we are... phones. <laughs> After that. Yes, no service cell phones. This is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. No. All right, so you guys know the drill. Uh, we're going to go to sleep in a little bit. Uh, we have the night vision camera, and it's going to be set up recording, although the generator is not uh, working, so I don't know how much of this we can do. even do, but... Um, this sucks. Then the plan is to wake up around 2.33 a.m. and then just uh, investigate some more. I don't know if we're going to be out here all night. Actually, I don't even know if we're going to stay up till 3-ish anyways just because of everything. So, yeah. You hear that? What do you hear? 
What do you hear? No, I think I hear that like that sniffing sound again or whatever. Like a like a. No, yeah, I heard it for a sec. Whoa! What the? F what is that? What? 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 Yeah. Oh, what happened? Go? What happened? Bro, there was like, like a silhouette standing right there, like staring at us. Like I'd say, like right back in the woods. I on my life, bro. On my life, I swear to God. Right there. Did you see it? Not now, but did you no, see it? No, no, I didn't, bro. I'm Where's sorry. It? It's not there, but. Do you think we can cross? I don't know, bro. That, I think it's all water. Do you want to check? We could try for sure. Here, let me grab my... Okay. Wait, 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 what'd you even see? It looks like a person was standing right there. Like, that tree right there? Like, like up a little bit. Like... Where it's a little bit more right there? there. Yeah, yeah. So what'd you see? It was like a person just standing there. Like this. What the fuck? Like like it looked like a normal person. Nothing weird. Just, there was someone standing right there. You swear it was a person? On my life. Okay. Um <sighs> Alright, I guess we could try this at least. I mean What's the worst that could happen? We fall through the river and then yeah, we're we really fall cold? Nice and we die, but like <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm following you, partner. Oh. One in Colorado. One in Colorado. One in the Rockies. Oh, it gets deeper. Whoa. Uh, is this a bad idea? It's getting deeper every time I step. I don't know, bro. I mean, remember what they said, bro, in the story. What? It was a creek, and he crossed a makeshift bridge to get to the other bank. Does that look like a makeshift bridge? Oh my god. Okay. This is too real. This is way too much right now. It might look a lot different during the summertime when he wet. Right? Yeah. It definitely looks like something, brother. Be careful, bro, please. Yeah, this literally is exactly what they were explaining in the story, bro. Oh God, I can't believe we're doing this. All right. A little steep. A little bit. You be able to make it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Only problem is, I'm in a shoes. Here, can you grab the camera? Sorry. I'll try. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Moments before disaster. <laughs> This is a bad idea, bro. We're like on. I think we're on a dam right now. Like low key. I think this is a dam. Look at the look at the way it's built. Yeah. Makeshift bridge. Yeah. That's one one word for it. Something. All right. Let's watch this way. Oh, fuck this, bro. Ben, Ben, Ben. What? Stop right there for a sec. Stop right there. I'm not even joking right now. Turn right around, I swear to God. I just saw something standing right there behind that tree. All right. right that tree right there. All right. That's like right where we were before. Bro, there's something right okay. there. Jess? Uh. I can't move right now, Ben. I'm, I'm ge genuinely freaked out. I think we should go back. We should go back. Bro. Please, please, please. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Okay, let's go. Oh, that was a bad idea. We saw something. 
I mean, fucking fouled him. Yeah, no, this is a horrible idea. This okay. is literally... Ah, oh, it's don't fall. Jump. Okay. Be careful, please. I know. I don't want you to fall, man. Please be careful, Ben. It works, bro. Look. What? Yeah, it's so weird. Okay, so that the camera light, the one that goes on here. The one that wasn't working? So it was in my pocket with the hot hands, and I like just for shits and giggles turned it on. It, it actually works. It's at like 50% or so. Oh, but shit. I'm assuming it just died because of cold. I could be. So I I'm mean, it is frigid. My pants are frozen, bro. Like, it's His like pants the same are shape. literally frozen. Sorry, guys, for the close up, but you see my runny nose right now. No, this is a beauty shot. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right, well, um, here we go. Let's do it. I'll take the flashlight from you, sir. I feel a lot more safe. Uh, so we're going to try to cross the ravine because uh, we were very curious of what is out there. You know, we yeah. saw some eyes. We saw a lot of things. So. And then we'll go to bed. So. Absolutely. You ready? Let's do it. Maybe we'll be able to cut, but it literally looks like someone fell here. Look. What? Someone fell here. Oh shit! There's running water too. Um, right, that might be. A, I wouldn't stand right where they fell because it probably slipped for a reason. Okay. There's probably no other way to get to this place. I mean, okay. So we tried earlier. We got we got really scared, and um, yeah, we I'm tried pressing a different so, spot. Like, we saw what we saw. Yeah. You know, and it's like. Wait, if there's like a waterfall or something like that, maybe there's like shallow water where you could cross from there. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I mean, that does look kind of shallow, maybe. I don't know. Or it's really deep. <laughs> <laughs> guys, can I just take a second and say, if you haven't already, can you guys smash the like button and subscribe? Because we really are doing some dumb shit right now. What did I say? Footstep. Okay, um, it just said footstep and we heard like a branch break. Hello? Who's there? Or what's there, even. What disturbs us? That's creepily accurate. Yes, yeah. smash the like button, guys. Please. One like equals one thing. <laughs> Oh, you, oh, you almost f yourself, Jazz. Huh? Oh. You just scrape right past that. I have like no awareness. But I think, bro, I really do think that the only way to get across is across. So we could try it. Yeah, you can hear the running water like underneath yeah. the ice. And it does sound a little aggressive. What are you thinking? Taking the same path that our friend took? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a thing is, is like the story from uh, that I read earlier. They said medieval. like medieval from the medieval times, maybe Sarah from the medieval times. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. Um, but careful. Well, yeah, I remember how in the story it said it was incredibly difficult to get to the other side. And they had to, they crossed like a makeshift bridge. Now, we, we don't know, how, this story is pretty old. Yeah. So the thing is, is like... How's... Listen. Swing wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Over there. Three. Two. One. Or three, whatever we're here. Hey Ben, can you mirror us? Yeah. Okay. Not trying to scare you or anything. Yeah. Do you see right there? Do you see what I see? Where? Right there. Oh my God. You see that, right? 
I have no idea what that is. Yeah, it's like a... I don't know what the hell that is. It's something, though. It's like a bag? I think so. Like yeah. a garbage bag? Hold on. I'm gonna try to get a little lower. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, Jazz, you sure? I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay. Shit. I say fuck it, just slide down at this point. I'm thinking the same. At this point, I think I don't have another option. <laughs> <laughs> I can grab you if you want, get you back up if you want. Don't get stabbed by the stickies. Whoa! It's a spiky boy. Thank you, bro. Okay. So a couple things. We're hearing and seeing things from across this ravine, this little creek right here. Um if I had like rain boots, what? Ben, 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 ben. Yeah, I'm good. We're okay. standing on like a fucking yeah, let's hill not. right now. Let's go a little. <laughs> All right, a couple problems, bro. Uh, you hear that? Yeah. A co uh, I don't even know anymore. A couple problems. We gotta cross the ravine. Well, we wanna cross we the ravine. Want to, Cause that's where we're hearing and seeing all the stuff. And it's like, I mean, there's no makeshift bridge. Break. No. Break? I thought it said creek. Oh. Oh, I would have shit my trousers. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, I, we're just trying to figure out like what? what? Yo, I keep on hearing shit. Hold on, I'm gonna pan really slowly. Just, I'm gonna do like a full 360. Let me know if you guys see anything. Nothing? Nothing. It was clear to me. Burden. Hey, I'm not a burden. I, I, I detest that. What's good to me? I don't know, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Either. But, um, I guess what we could do is why don't we try to find, like, an area where we could get as close as possible and just try to see. Maybe I'll take some night shot photos. There's a shapeshifter. That's what a skinwalker is. I know. That's literally what a skinwalker is. I thought as soon as I heard that, bro. This thing is so accurate. Now people always say like, hey Jazz, like these preloaded apps, they just have a bunch of things preloaded in there, right? Okay. It's explain a this. Like I explain everything I'm, else. I've dealt with apps before that that you know seem to run on the coincidence and it's almost like well, yeah, that is that, or it could be this. Yeah. With this app, though, bro, this is different. different it's fucking grade. weird. <laughs> like, it's scary. It's I don't horrible. know. So what I was gonna say before you rudely interrupted me with your shape shifting this is we're gonna head this way and we're gonna try to find like the closest area possible. And what I'm thinking, what? No, you said some snow dropping off your head, and I just oh. was watching it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we take some night shot photos, and we. I always have a lot of success with night shot photos yeah, because yeah. it illuminates the camera it does. and we'll see if we can capture anything. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Let's right, do so it. Let's head this way. Um, shapeshifter. Yeah, I guess. Are you dealing with a shapeshifter? Demon. And a demon. A shapeshifting demon. I'm trying to find a spot to just hide. <laughs> just, just to start digging a hole. <laughs> just like climb in it. I think we're going to find ourselves in a hole anyways. Uh, that's true. Might as well start digging our own graves. Composure, Jazz, composure. We're only like <laughs> an hour in. I know. Ah. Oh, you got with the st I Guys, did you remember when I said 
Watch out for that stick, Jazz. It's sharp. I have no awareness. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take some night shot photos and see if we can see anything because that's the area that we see. We saw some eyes. We saw. The only way we could really describe it was like like a humanoid figure, like a silhouette of like a. Oh yeah, dude, just standing there. But it doesn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. So I'm, let's get a little bit closer. I don't. I really don't want to go this way just because. Bro, if there really is someone over there, I don't want to go there. Like, if you go a different route or something, sure. So, all right. I'm going to do a little zoom in here. So, a couple night shot photos. Take one there. It needs some light. Wait, for a second, just stop and listen. There's like something rustling over there. For sure, right? You hear yeah, that? I heard that. Now, where exactly was the area that you saw? Like, way more to the left. To the left. But I keep on going? Yeah. Like, no, to the right a little bit. It was like in there, yeah. Okay, take a shot. Oh. Use I your nose. My phone's really bad yeah, everything's dying. We're all dying. I have a portable charger, but... Okay, let me take a look at some of these photos. Okay. Whoa. That's really weird. Well, so here's a shot of uh, the area yeah. that you were talking about. I'm trying to just look around on the off... One. Bed? What the f*** am I looking at, bro? What is it? Do you see that right there? Hold on, let me clear my screen. Yeah, it's hard to see when it's all foggy. <sighs> bro, there's a... Like a... Oh. You see shit. that right there? Yeah. Bro, it, it looks like red eyes. And almost like a... Look how big that is. If we're talking the trees right there, that has to be about like 8-9 feet. But it almost looks like it's like a shadow. It's not even like... Yeah, a... it almost looks like it's just... Okay. Let's check the other photos. Yeah, check the same spot. Yeah, just looking around. Nothing in that one. Let's check this one. And you know what I'll do too? I'll put these pictures on the screen one after another, and you guys look at them as well. Uh, try to maybe screenshot the photos, zoom in yourself, see if you guys see anything. But I'll definitely put that first picture on that I was showing you guys where it looks like some like yeah. animalistic figure. Now, if we're dealing with like some, some sort of shapeshifter, right? It could mean of many things. You ever see the thing? The thing? The thing. Yeah. Yeah. That was a shapeshifter. And that, that thing turned into a bunch of dogs. With snake tentacles and weird shit. And... I still can't believe that. It's, it's horrifying. It literally just looks like a shadow of like some type of... But if there's a shadow, then that means... You'd be like ahead of it a little bit. Also your light, is it a shadow from like the moon? Like lighting from the moon? Because like it's highlighting, or it's the, yeah. uh, it's a night shot, so it's picking up that too. Huh. I don't know. There really is something, something here. And I don't, I don't know if we should get close to whatever the hell that is, or spirit. Oh, what, well, you don't want to try to like... You want to meet it? If there's any figures. Whoa. What the f shit is that? 
something is right in front of us. That's what it is. He's doing a dance too. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Um. Bro, there's something, and it's right in that spot where I took the photo. You're right. Bro, it's huge. No, it looks kind of like that that symbol we saw earlier a little bit, doesn't it? Almost, yeah, like the shrugging thing, yeah. Oh, bro, like, it looks like it's coming towards us. Yo, what the fuck? Okay. I'll okay. Knock that off. Bro, what? The scares Holy the shit, shit. Out of me. <laughs> My phone vibrates. Oh, it does? Yeah, it scares the uh, shit out of me. Whoa. Bro, see what I mean? A huge figure. Yeah, it does look like that symbol, doesn't it? It looks like it's standing. I don't know. I don't like this, Jazz. Fucking weird. I don't know, guys. I need your opinions on everything. Because it's like... You know... A little spooky. A little spooky! To say the least. But... I mean... The last time we went camping... Now, guys, if you did not watch the last camping video, I highly recommend it. Yeah. Um... We experienced something so bone chilling that like, I don't even know how to explain it. Ben heard me in two different directions. Ben's, yeah, I don't know how to explain that. So Ben talking... started going left, and when he was going left, he heard me from the right. Now he ended up freaking out and going towards me. The only question is like, what would have happened if you kept going left? Also, shapeshifter too, right? Like. That was fucking weird. Like it sounded. Bro, that was I exactly. That was me, bro. That was, that was you, my bro. voice. And I, like I know, I only said it twice. Yeah. I did not say it the first time. No, I said it also it came from the other direction too. Like, yeah, like you could hear it day. clear as day. Make music. I could tell left and right. Audio. Yeah. Like, I, I heard. I was like, what? Bro, I know. It's crazy. So the thing about that too, is, um. After the fact, we brought you back to the car because Ben was like throwing up. He, he wasn't feeling good. Oh, I feel like shit. And um, I was like, all right, I'm going to go back and get the remainder of the stuff that's there because Ben couldn't even bring much with him back to the car. Bro, on the way back, I was like closing things up and I hear like rustling behind me. I turn around and all I seen was like almost like you see how behind me there's like my shadow? Yeah. It was like that, but it was like going up against a tree and it was moving. I wasn't moving and it was moving. So uh -huh. like... If I have my light pointed like this, that stick's shadow should not move. Right, it would stay. Exactly. But it was moving, and like it looked like it had arms. And bro, I ran for my damn life. Ran, ran. No, I remember ran. when you came back to the car, you were definitely like. Yo, I was done for. Yeah. Oh my god. So. We all were at this place. <laughs> Between the two of us, bro. I know, I know. It's just wild. Um, hold on, man. Hold on. You're good. Careful, you don't know where that ends. I mean, it looks like it ends there, but now he's gone. Is it ice? And you're able to walk on it? Yeah. Either that or I'm like the second gun. Alright. Okay. Jesus Dragonovic. My man. here with us. Can you come forward? Give me just one second. You're good, bro. Can I investigate this?
Oh god. Uh, eyes. 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 Oh, this lad, that's like tall. It's very tall. I guess it could be the owl we saw earlier. But... It didn't look like it had like three eyes. The thing is, is like... I took three photos. Yeah. And it's only in one. Oh shit. Hey, uh, Jess. Can we uh, start heading back to the tent, bro? I'm starting to... What's up? I'm not feeling too hot. I know it's weird, because I fucking didn't feel good last time. No, but yeah, bro. I mean, I'm not... I just, I fucking... We don't need to push anything. It's somewhat with the cold. After it's been like three hours, dude, I start... I start falling apart. I mean, what we could do is we could just go sleep now, then. Yeah, just heat go up a sleep little bit. Now. And then we can do it again later. I just need Yeah, we, we're not going to probably sleep till 3, because to be honest with you guys, like, I don't know how much of anything we're going to be able to yeah. even use. So... Definitely getting warm though. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um just saw something. Alright, Ben. I just saw something huge. Huge. Right where that tree is, right there. All right, guys. Uh, so we're in the tent now, obviously, and uh, got some bad news and good news. What's the good news? As a matter of fact, we only have bad news. That's right. Uh, bad news number one: the generator is officially dead. Don't know why. It says it's on a hundred percent, but it's not producing any wattage to charge anything. I don't know what's going on. It's almost like the like the equipment that we're having tonight is just not. Like working or something's with messing with the equipment. It's really weird. Doesn't like us. That's me again. I'm so sorry. This every every time I move, dude. This tent is so like noisy. You know, it's so freaky. Oh my god. Um. So here's what's going on tonight. We are going to be taking shifts because it's not very safe where we're at. Uh, we don't have the best lighting at the moment. So, but we need sleep. Um, yeah. especially if we're going to make this work. So, that's you again, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> paranoid. Uh, so Ben's gonna go to sleep first. I'll stay up Hell a little yeah. bit um, and just record everything. We have tons of batteries. So the only thing that's gonna suck is we're gonna keep having to change the batteries every so often. But we have tons of SD cards too. We'll just record everything. And then I don't think we're gonna sleep till three, maybe like one ish. Yeah, we wanna check on everything because we're gonna have to keep on waking up to check. Yeah. So regardless of fact, um, we need we need rest. We, it was a long, long trip to get here. So. We'll update, if anything, you know, any activity throughout the night, but, yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm gonna knock out. Good night, brother. Alright. Good night. Well, on my note, I will play some mobile games. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell not? I don't have service to do anything else, right? I can't even check the score of the NBA game, man. That sucks. I know. Um, well, good night, bro. Good night, bro. I'll see you in like two hours. Yes, sir. on like footsteps. Bro, this place is so freaky. Where the hell's Ben's knife? I might need this shit. <laughs> Damn. Um. Alright, well. I guess. I'm awake now for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. 
Damn. Jesus. There's a buck outside. Mm -hmm. No, there's a buck outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? There's a buck outside. You hear that? What's up? You hear that that sound? Bro. Mm-hmm. It's a buck. I know it's a buck. 100 percent to do. You saw it? No, you can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to do.
probably like 30, 40 feet. Okay. Okay. It's not like... I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do. It's just, it's, it's just a buck, but it's like... But it's a buck. But it's a buck. You know, based on like everything we've experienced, it's a buck. It's know? a buck. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. That's how you scare a cat. You scare a cat. Okay. It'll work on a buck. It's something I'm missing, right? It's not there anymore. Unless I'm blind as hell. I'm literally just using like the the moonlight to see. I can't. Really see. Oh yeah. Best light around. I don't see anything right now, so maybe that's a good sign. Maybe it worked, Ben. Your little hissing. A little hissy fit? A little hissy fit worked out? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's no way I'm going back to sleep. Well, hell no. So, I mean, I guess. What time is it? Yeah. Well, I um. That scared the hell out of me. That's a way to wake up, I'll tell you that much. Jesus. Sorry for shaking you to death. It took me forever to wake you up. Really? Yeah. And Jen's like minutes. The same thing. Um, alright, well, I guess we'll head out. Alright, guys, so. For the remainder of the night, we're going to be recording in night vision. Um, try our best, at least. Yeah, um, Bravo 6, is, we're going dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all we got. Yo, was that a scream, bro? Did you hear that? A hundred percent that was a scream. I want to go back in the tent. Uh, is it okay if I use my flashlight? Only problem is we're on three battery, three bars left. And we had to use that to get home. Home. All right, I'm going to keep it on low setting. But uh, yeah, I would barely touch it. Like, flash it and then like... Like that. On it's off. on one. Okay, on one. Yeah. That works. Hello? But that was a human scream. Yeah. Owl? Out of nowhere. You have to be careful with owls. Why? I guess like if they look at your head and they think it's an animal, they'll grab onto it. And they're guys, if you guys see anything, please let us know. Because it's really dark out here and we're using this on low setting. So you guys might see more than we're Yeah, there it is again. Yeah, definitely an owl. I'm telling you, they'll rip your head off. Whoa, I forgot that was even on. That scared the shit out of me. God, it's I forgot a, too. It's a down. Down what? Down the path, maybe? Down the path. We're going down the path. But that's where we heard the scream. Yeah. Here we go. Maybe someone fell down? I hope not. Bro, thing is like, remember, just like in the story, and just like we told you guys, we haven't seen a single soul coming in here. No. It was a 30 minute walk. We didn't see anything. Up. There are footsteps. There's so a lot of footsteps. the thing is, we know people love hiking. People love camping. It could be the case. It is so cold though. I don't know anyone in their right minds. I I do. Okay. Oh, it's us, right? It's us. <laughs> also, like, the little, like, a lot of places that have like a lot of cold weather, mm -hmm. like they have like polar bear dives, which is like when you go into like an ice cold river or mm -hmm. like a lake and you just jump in. Like, Fair enough. these people are here. They love the cold, but oh. it ain't me. Girl. Girl? And we just heard a girl scream? Yeah, I know. Fuck. It said down girl. Bro, down the trail. Where Where's the... the girl? Down the trail. Okay, okay. All shit aside now. Yeah. This is a little much right now. Bro, yeah. I'm freaking the hell out. Yeah. Not to mention, do you even go through like the trail cam stuff? Or, uh... The trail cam? Oh, I haven't even looked at the trail cam yet. We definitely have to look at the trail we cam. We do, yeah. Oh, dude, because the buck. Because yes. the buck. Yo, yes, bro. we have to check the joke. We do. Oh. Branch, branch, branch. Fuck. 
Sorry, the branch right. All right, Ben. There's a fork in the road. But it almost sounded like it came from that way. It did sound like it came from that way. Is the girl okay? Here, bud. Here. Said something. Henry. Henry. Did Henry hurt you? Down, girl, Henry. Bro, like, there's footsteps leading into literally nothing. Like all over, look at that. A lot of those are like covered with snow too. Like they're, they're footprints, but they're not. They're from like a minute ago. And there's other ones that are fresh. Look at that direction, right? I don't even know what we're doing right now. All the footprints that we see? I mean, the fresh ones, yeah. Because, I mean, there's a lot of footprints, but there's definitely, yeah, like a trail. Oh my god. What the f is that? Is that tarp? Oh, uh, come here, come here, come here. What? Come here, come here, come here. That's a 10, brother. Oh, shit. Here we just. Okay, guys. Hello? Who's in Matthew. there? Matthew. Okay, so we just heard a scream in the distance. We followed Matthew. the scream, and there's a tent. It looks old though. That oh, looks like it's almost like halfway collapsed. Place snow on it and do it. Um, okay, Ben. Here, I'm gonna put this on max right now. Here, hold this. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay. Is anybody in there? Making sure we heard a scream. I'm making sure everything's okay. Uh no, hold on, hold on. I have like a really bad feeling right now. You know that feeling you have when someone's watching you? I have that right now, man. I mean, no one responded. Y Yo, bro, like the tent is like half collapsed. Anybody? No, there's no, there's nobody in here, bro. Well, this is a tiny tent. Tiny tent? Yeah. It's gonna show tiny homes. Oh. oh, you're not kidding. It's like for one person. I didn't know they made those. No, me neither. Well, maybe, because we're... Oh, yeah, you're right. Down, girl, Henry, Matthew, can I see that flashlight for a second? Yeah. Oh, there's just like the packaging inside of there. Huh. I mean, there's snow on top of it, so... I mean, maybe it was recent, maybe not, but... That screen was definitely... I mean, I still see footprints, like, all over. No, this was, like, definitely... You can tell that someone was here and recently moving around a lot. It's just it's fucking... children want to that? speak. Children want to speak. Did you hear that other thing? What would you hear? Like that the howling sound? Oh. Children want to speak. Bro, this is like a kid's tent. You're right. Holy shit. There's no way a human. Even our size. We're not the tallest. No, I wouldn't fit in that. No. <sighs> but it's not like your standard kid's tent either. Like, most of them have, like, uh, the frozen characters on them or something. What's going on? There's a... Uh... You know that bad feeling you're talking about? There's, like, hoof prints right here. Yeah. I wouldn't... Roman. Roman. Was that the kid's name? Or was it Matt or whatever? Who's here with us? We heard a scream. Can you give us a sign or anything? Or it's a real person. And if that's the case... Can you talk to us if you're here? Probably keep going, bro. Ernest. Ernest? Ernest. So we got Henry, Matthew, Roman, and Ernest. Children want to speak. Bunch of children names right there. I mean potentially children names, sorry. Did we get we didn't get this much activity until we got like right here, right? Until we got here. Like we were we weren't getting many names over there. We got gold. No, we ones. didn't. Is there anything you want to tell us? The noise was him. The noise was him. 
The spirit box said the noise was him. Which noise? We've been hearing a lot of fucking noises. Can you get what no? Oh. Potentially that noise, maybe? Oh, Ben. Hold on. Stay right there. What? Something's here. Something is here with us right now. Trying to keep my composure, bro. But like legit right now, I feel like something is. Yo, what the fuck? What? What? Ah! Whoa! Shit! Go, 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 go! Run! What the? Ah, oh, no, no, no! What we saw that night was horrifying. I will never be able to get that image out of my head. I will never, that shit replays over and over and over in my head to this day. I'm gonna explain everything. And I know this isn't the ending that we all wanted. I mean, even me, I, I wanted to stay here the entire night, wake up in the morning, pack my stuff and go. But unfortunately, it didn't end like that. Um, so I'm just going to talk about everything really quick and just tell you what we saw to our best ability and then go from there, right? <sighs> the energy in this place was unlike anything or any place that I've ever been to, and Ben could vouch for that as well. It was evil. Like, that's the only way I could explain it. There was, at all times, I felt like there was something with me. It didn't matter what I was doing. Even when the camera was off, I went to go use the restroom, I was completely alone. I f almost always felt like someone was within 20 to 30 feet of me just staring at me or it was the most unnerving feeling in the entire world. I, I swear. It was so hard to keep my composure. I even said it numerous times in the video, like, Jazz, keep your composure. You got this. I'm, I'm just trying to, like, keep myself, sa like, sane at that point, right? Now, towards the end, things were becoming a bit much for me. First and foremost, we heard a scream. And that was enough to just make me uneasy for the rest of the night, right? But I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I don't investigate that. I go see what it is, right? We go towards the direction and there's a tent. Literally, the only thing I can imagine is it's a one-person tent or a kid's tent. It was tiny. It looked like it had been there for a while. And, you know, while we're investigating, we're getting all these answers and whatnot. You heard a scream. First off, you heard Ben say, what the F was that when he turned left? What Ben described to me was that there was something huge. Uh, something huge, and all he saw was like black smoke or like a big shadow just moving quickly between trees, and it was coming. The best way that I can describe what I saw was something something huge, skinny, but had like glowing eyes. That's the only way that I can describe what I saw. It was like a, a split second where my fight or flight instinct kicked in obviously my flight was on 100 because i ran for my life i ran I, I dropped every i dropped my wallet dropped my batteries a flashlight but we ran and ran and ran until we got back to the car we stayed in the car overnight uh it was warm in there and to be honest we just didn't know what to do we had to go back and get our stuff but we weren't going back at two in the morning so we waited until morning so we thought our experience, or our bad experience, at our campsite at this forest was over, right? We thought we were just going to go pack up and call it a trip and go home, right? But that was not the case. We thought that if we waited until morning and we went back to our campsite to pack up, that, you know, it would be easier and better. But it wasn't. It, it just wasn't. So we woke up pretty early, around 8.30, 
And, you know, we said to each other, this is our chance. Let's go. The sun's up. And it's better doing anything when the sun's out. I mean, especially when you're comparing that to pitch black with a night vision camera, right? We thought that it was going to be better. And while we're walking back to the campsite, we kept hearing like grunting or even like growling or I swear to fucking God. I swear on everything, I thought I just heard like the... <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. I am, I don't rewatch really this, but that's another thing we were hearing when we were going back to the campsite and from the campsite back to the car. But when we arrived at a campsite, this is when we knew things were, were, were bad. Uh, our tent was half collapsed. The zipper was open inside the tent. The sleeping bags were like rolled up and everything was basically just looked through. The cooler that was outside was flipped on its side. It was open and all the drinks fell out. Now, to top things off, there's hoof marks all over the tent and our campsite and everything. And we're thinking to each other, like, no deer or buck or anything is is unzipping a tent and doing this and doing that. Like, we were, it was the most, like, gut-wrenching feeling in the world. And... The way out was probably the most terrifying part because we have so many bags and we're carrying all this stuff, but we knew that we were walking so slow and we kept hearing things and we, we were just like praying to like anything that we, we could just make it back to the car and get the hell out of there. That energy there was beyond anything I've ever experienced. It was so dark. I, I don't know. That was our experience. I want to say I'm sorry. I tried my best to stay the night. I really did. Even with everything failing, like the equipment and lighting. and I'm sorry. <laughs>